I was going to say again what a snapshot is. Maybe uh, uh, Natasha, I'm not sure, maybe don't know about this idea. It's that when you go back where you're going, people will ask you what happened. Right? What was it like? And if you prepare it before you go back, you'll, you'll have a little moment. They give you 45 seconds, maybe 90 seconds, to for you to give them something about what just happened this last week. And if you thought about it in advance, you really can give them an experience, and you see it clicks in their eyes. So what we thought in at uh, in the camp, it's nice to think back on everything that happened over the seven days and pick up one just to share today but it's nice if you have a journal you can write a lot of them something you saw something you heard something someone told you that you know will stick with you when you go down down the hill down the road okay that's a snapshot we also call it a postcard but nobody does postcards anymore you're all too young Oh my, we used to do postcards, right? Ming Xin Pian, you get a five cent stamp and put it on a postcard. Now it's a 40 cent stamp and you can't find them unless you go camping or something, out on a vacation. So, postcard. What do you write on a postcard? Little image, right? So that's what we're sharing. That's a snapshot. My snapshot. Uh, it, I couldn't resist, I had one. I, actually, you did two, I'm gonna do two. Uh, I had an opportunity that many of you have not had, which is I had, to, I had a chance to go home with Hong Zhang to his family. <coughs> he and I lived together in Liu Hui in Taiwan, and we came back to Malaysia together at one point, and he took me to his home, introduced me to his parents, and I really enjoyed seeing his parents. They were so pleased that their son had gone all the way to America, it was very far away, and met with this teacher, Master Shen Hua. And my snapshot is not, he, he was, I was standing behind him and watching his parents look at him. And a little nephew, there's a bunch of little kids, you know, running around, so excited because the Shu Shu had come back from, from America. But there was a nephew, probably comes up to your waist, you know. And he was standing behind Hong Zhang, looking up at him and he was looking the way a true believer looks at the face of God, you know. He was just like that, you know. He, he was worshipful of his uncle. And seeing how important it was for the family to have a son go to America, leave home with my mom, that planted itself in my heart. I remember that forever. Watching this, this young boy look up with true adoration at his, at his uncle. So that was one... That's a snapshot. Another one was uh, I I spent two days away recovering from my my uh, <coughs> oh. and I came back uh, yesterday to uh, uh, this, to an Agbar and I got out of the car and we were coming up and I was concerned. I was thinking, wow, did the did the did the sutra continue? You know, was it, did did the principles come alive? And as we got out of the car, we heard this laughter coming out of the Buddha Hall. And many voices talking. And I thought, ah, it worked. The sutra is alive. 